Hello everybody and welcome back to Xenoblade Chronicles Definitive Edition. On the last episode, we um we got Shulk back. We fought the Telethium. And we're, I think we're supposed to be headed towards the prison island so we can fight them for real. But um Alright, I'm I'm down here. What is this, Colony 6? I think it's Colony 6, because I was building Colony 6 because I need access to some of this stuff. Uh, uh, yeah. So we're supposed to be going... Oh, yeah. Because we got to go inside of the, Bion the Bionis. I need to be able to get to that part anyway so I can finish getting the stuff that I need to actually, like, get the stuff that I need... Ready to fly into the Bionis. Shall we head there now? Let's go. Hmm. Oh, I can't stand it. My TV is slightly slanted. <laughs> it's like crooked. It's the inside of the Bionis. It looks quite different from when we entered via the marsh. The Bionis is regaining its biological functions. Must be because Zanza woke it up. Then we find Zanza and stop him. Okay, that's better. I was really bothering me. <laughs> Once you notice it, it's hard to not notice it, and then it becomes a problem. Alright, yeah. I didn't mean to do that. <laughs> oh, the music here doesn't change. Very quickly. Do you need to fight some of the Telethia? The enemy's weak, but don't drop your guard. Okay, let's sort this out nice and quick. This won't take long. Almost there. Looks like so. We got through that pretty good. Let's stay alert. Who else wants some? There are a few things that I absolutely need um, because I need materials from. The enemy's weak, but don't drop your guard. Okay, let's sort this out nicely. This one's like long. Can't even really harvest the stuff yet because my bag is full. See, I was been trying to like get to. Uh, I did. I've been trying to get some stuff, and I just couldn't because I need the better versions, which requires me to progress, which requires me to record, which is necessary to progress. But I've been so busy, I haven't had the ability to actually record, so my grinds have been, like, on the go. <laughs> the Bionis Interior. <laughs> you look well, your highness. That voice. It's Lorathea. Show yourself! 
Look at that. The heart of the Bionis. The pulsating life of Lord Zanza. Oh. Stab it. Yapping and show yourself. I await your highness here. There is something I wish to show you. Your friends are welcome to join you. That is, if they survive. <laughs> Lorithea, what are you planning? Forget her for now. We must push on to the heart. All right. I'm I'm questioning if I can fall off this, which I'm honestly positive I can, and uh, I don't want to. But if you know me well enough, I'm very tempted to to, uh, to test the waters, so to speak. But let's try to keep those tests accidental. I forgot how to use the map for quite a bit. Let's see, because I need... I'm trying to raise the, uh, the gems, the ore deposits levels, which happens when you're upgrading Colony 6. But I cannot remember which... I cannot remember which of the um, pieces it was under, which of the sections it was under. Because I think it's nature, but then it goes to the point that I don't remember where. But there's two things. I needed an item that I cannot get because it was on Mechanis and I can't get back to Mechanis but it was possible to get it in other ways like trading and everything here's the thing I am NOT working on the um, I'm not I'm not gonna work on the uh, what is this thing called the affinity stuff for the towns I'm not it takes too long it's way too much that you have to do to do that and I'm I'm not doing it. I'm not doing it. It's just not worth it. It's way too much. Like I did I did like twenty five quests as well as talking to everybody.
Welcome to my world. I must say, I am surprised. Zanza's vessel truly does have a will of its own, and looking quite sprightly. I'm still alive. I won't die. Not yet. And that's why we're here. Everyone who lives in this world has a life. So, it shouldn't be threatened by anyone. We'll never give in to Zanza. Mmm, so full of passion. Well, if it's life you're looking for, I'll show you true life. <gasps> it's... G Gallion! Brother! There is no use in calling. It worked before, but now his transformation is complete. He is my adorable son. Do you know the meaning of the word telethia? It means that which eliminates impure life. Impure life, just like you. That which Lord Zanza does not require shall be extinguished from this world. Enjoy this battle, for it will be your time. Okay, my, um, oh look, Ryan's all dazed and stuff. Yeah, uh, my NVIDIA broadcast software decided it wanted to crash, which, you know, my mic is through that program, so <laughs> if it does that, it, uh, kind of, kind of makes my mic not work. I mean, I can. Do you, do you want me to? Yeah, I, I was saying, I probably should have leveled down. But, you know, didn't know what level they were going to be at. Not like I care that much. I mean, it just means I'm going to decimate her because... It's really loud in my ear. The game music has jumped up tremendously. Um, to the point, I'm going to do that. Hopefully the game's not too quiet for you guys now. Oh, I should probably turn this back up. Uh, so if it's this loud for me, uh, it's probably quieter for you guys beforehand. I'll have to test, I'll have to check it later. Oh, come on. Yeah, but you gotta do a fair bit better than that. And how do you plan on pulling that off? She doesn't seem like she's getting an aura. Which just makes her less effective. I want to just for fun, but um, they she isn't broken, so I'm not gonna do it. You'll pay for your insolence. You'll pay for your insolence. You'll pay for your insolence. 
Ah, oh, she recovered. I was trying, I was gonna daze her. <laughs> she recovered just before it hit. To you and to everyone. Because of our transformation into Telethia. I am a princess, but I brought misfortune upon the high end here. I. I. You are mistaken, Melia. The Telethia gene lies dormant within us all. There was no escaping the cursed blood in our veins, sister. It was fate. That is why our father sought to dilute the bloodline. <laughs> you are the hope of the High Entia. You will not transform into a Telethia. Even after the Bionis has reawakened, you can still succeed the Imperial line. You have the power to end our suffering. Knowing this, both I and Father were happy to sacrifice ourselves. It was our choice. Brother... There is no need to fear. After all, this is precisely our wish. In the end, you are the only ones who can stop Zanza. Yes. Now, leave her to me. You must go. You must accompany Shulk. No! My Telethia! You! What have you done? I have done nothing. This is your destiny. Accept it with dignity! Ah! My body! No! I was promised immortality! Ah! Brother... Melia... At long last I can be with father. You must now live your own life. The path you forge, the future you choose. That is the hope of the High Entia. Thank you, brother. Your words will stay with me forever. His words? Oh, Ricky heard. Ricky heard Melly's brother. Oh, Callian say, hope of bird people. Hmm, where Melly's brother? Oh, Ricky not see him, but Ricky hear him. <laughs> Ricky. You too heard his parting words. Thank you. I do like Melia. Melia. She got the short end of the stick. <laughs> Thank you for your concern. I am all right. Let us go and secure the future my brother so hoped for. We will. Together. <laughs> Such a brave prince. You want some too, Dixon? Dixon? Don't look at me like that. I take time out of my schedule to send you off to a nice spot. And that's how you welcome me. 
What do you mean? I'll be waiting at Prison Island. I've picked out a lovely place to return your flesh and blood to the Bionis. Don't keep me waiting. See ya later. <laughs> I'm gonna... Come on, everyone. We've got to get to Prison Island. Okay. Hmm. Hmm. Can we leave here, though? <laughs> sunk into the Bionis head. Oh, Dundun. Dun. Ricky feel funny feeling from above. Ricky instincts say Dixon is there. Yes, I agree. Start praying to Zanza, Dixon. We're coming! You can't go to the um the city of Hyantia. It's just surprising. Um, I can always go back to F no, Colony Six. It's not red, so I can fast travel. Um, Yeah, I'm one of those items I need. I'm going to have to go back to the inside of the Bionis to, um... Because it's a collectible. So it means it's one of those I could pick up off the ground. What was that thing called? I think I still have the page open. I don't like to close things. Oh, I'm usually left with, like, a hundred and something tabs. Um, let me see, let me see. Uh, yeah, Black Leaver Bean is one of them. And then... I think I have like the Leo Silver and stuff like that because I, I was trying. I'm literally like one away from maxing out nature, but I was just missing stuff. Go check it out. Uh, we could. We could go check it out. See what I'm missing exactly. But I also kind of just... I want to progress. I keep forgetting, like, what buttons I'm supposed to press for this. So, there's a fast travel point here. That's noted. Hmm. Uh, there's a fast travel point. Let's, let's check it out. It's Colony Six. It's like right. It's like right at the entrance, basically. Uh, Reconstruction HQ. I just need to see what all I'm missing. Cause I know like uh, some of these things I can get from the sage and stuff. Um. Yeah. I'm gonna eat your. Yeah, so the black liver bean, I don't have the Lewis the Silver. Alright, because I needed I I needed to trade. It, it, that was one of the things that came from uh Makanis that I can't get now. Um 
I still think I can get the the elder beard and because that that's from the leg. Come on, I'm pretty sure I can still get that. Um, the black liver bean I can get now because it's it's um it's a collectible item in the Bionis interior. The Luisa Silver was the one that was the big problem. The reason why it was a big problem is because you have three ways of getting it, and this version, the Definitive Edition, which is um, Aranagoth, however you say that, which is the Makana's capital, you can't get there anymore. Um, the other one is trading Barry Jammy. Oh, and she's in Colony 6. But Colony 6 has to be at 5 stars. Which is the max level for Colony 6. Before she can trade it. Which is utterly ridiculous. And I'm not doing that. <laughs> like, I was doing the Hidden Village. I did like 25 quests. I got one star increase. I'm not even going to attempt to care to try to raise the stars because it takes way too much. So the last method I can use, which is the method I can use for pretty much all of this, which is the uh, the time attack. It's just... <sighs> you can't purchase the items <laughs> until you get to Prison Island, which is basically where we just got to. They're not available until you get there, and it's like... Uh, <sighs> But it's like, it's the end, end of Prison Island, if I'm not mistaken. I mean, I can check it. I'm not, I'm not going to bother. <laughs> I just know it's like the end, end kind of thing. It's so just... <laughs> Mm -hmm. Like it's like okay, you're pretty much at the end of the game. You can buy these now. Oh, okay. I I, I wanted to buy those like three hours ago, like a chapter to 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 go. Like you can't buy any of the real like <laughs> materials needed for. You can't get them. And I wasn't focused on the construction. Then I was like, wait a minute. It hit me. I was like, wait a minute. I can't finish getting these gems up until I finish Colony 6. So, I started doing Colony 6 and I'm like, I, I can't get these items because I needed McConnus to do that. And so now, my literal only other options... Oh, great. It's one of these things. Ugh. I do hate these. Like, I get the point of them. It's basically saying, hey, this is a quest item. Don't sell it. But it stops everything you're doing. And I don't even pay attention to it. Can I walk up this? Ooh, I can. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> just like wow I literally if I had just started doing colony six before I fought a gill it would have been just fine and I would have already finished the construction 
Except, oh, well, almost. I still needed some stuff in Bionis Interior, but, like, I would have been... It would have been something that was much, much, much easier. Now my only option at this point would be to do the uh, time attack stuff to get it. Because I am not getting those towns to five stars. Because I just... I have a life. <laughs> and I'd like to keep it that way. What took you so long? Dixon! Oh, hey. Are you even trying to fight? Things are gonna get a lot worse. Here is echoing. Your ideas. Come down here and say that. What on Bionis is that? It looks like a gargoyle. Ah, more of them. It's the warm up act. If you can't get by this one, you don't stand a chance against me. Stop these games, old man. You'll have to stop this thing first. Hurry up! I'm just itching for a good old fashioned scrap. <sighs> you gotta like Dixon. Monster want to eat, Ricky! This thing is no match for us. There's another one like right up there. Don't, like... So you're trying to tell me that this thing is supposed to be stronger than Lorothea? Otherwise, why would you even think to have it fight us? But it isn't because it died way faster than her. I love how it's still sitting up here. Like, our, um... Hi, hi, hi! I'm gonna have to ask you though. Get on uh get a, get a, get a, get a, get on out with that aura. I don't know what it does, but we ain't having that. Hmm. Ah. <sighs> oh, okay. A <laughs> behemoth's nest. I guess they want me to actually fight them in order to get out of here, which is fair enough. The enemy's weak, but don't drop your guard. This won't take long. Okay, let's sort this out nice and quick. Boom. Let's focus our efforts. I'm on it. Okay. Fire. Whoa. Came out. <laughs> All right. Time for a chain attack. We're All right. Your I'm doing it. Fire. Here we go. Lariat. Let's do this. <laughs> I did not mean to do that, but okay. Just a 
Right now. Right. Awesome. Leave it to Ryan. Now. Take this. A chance. Man, what a bunch of jokers. Let's keep on going like this, guys. Hmm? No? Huh. Ah. Huh. So, I didn't have to do that in the first place. Well... Too late now. Can't really turn back that clock. I say things and then I realize they don't sound right. And then I'm like, my brain's not fully functional right now, is it? <laughs> this isn't going well. Sorry, I can't focus. Yeah, because I broke your knees. It's kind of hard to focus when your knees are broken. Alright, let's see. What do we have to deal with? Grab this. Oh, it just opens. Oh, okay. I almost jumped. <laughs> I'm glad I didn't. <laughs> Wait, what? Charla, really? Okay. Uh, I guess that wasn't what I was supposed to do. And where am I going? This game confuses me. Um. Hmm. Well, what's this? I can feel the power. Oh, hi, friend. We, you don't, this is unnecessary. Look, this is all just some really big misunderstanding, and I'm sure that if you just calm down, we can talk this through. No? Your funeral, pal. Oh, you're going to be one of those guys. A, d a daze. We make a great team. Wow. He's going to be one of those. So his spike was a daze. <laughs> it seems it only activates once his health reaches a certain position. Oh, there's a chest. Oh. Okay. Mm. Is that useful? <laughs> Did I accidentally do good? <laughs> hmm. Okay. There's another one on the other side. <laughs> I 
Don't get me wrong, I was definitely about to jump, because I think I'm going to have to, because I think it wants me to go back on that thing and work my way back up, but let's see what's in the other outcove out to the side. Oh, except the fact I got to run all the way down here. <laughs> okay, did not. Well, I can fast travel down to this point and then I can just walk back over. It's It'll be fine. But it's definitely those times I'm like, Shulk, why couldn't you have faster run speed? They did fix that in Xenoblade Chronicles 2. When you, uh, like, your speed is slow, like this. It's, it's pretty much exactly the same until you get the, uh, boosts. But once you get the boosts, it's, it's just fine. You're just, uh, you're just a jerk. You just, you just show up. You just show up once we walk in here. You were not here. So disrespectful. Fine then. Let's play. I'm glad it was on his cut. Actually, I can't be affected by that here, can I? Nope. Haha. -ha. Oh. Noise. I noticed, like, it's it's different weapons, so I'm assuming there's some for pretty much most of the people. Let me, uh, let me check the equipment here. Oh. Honestly, not that bad. It's an increase. I lose a slot, though. Hers is weaker. Ooh, dumb bands is a pretty significant increase. They only has two slots instead of one. Let me just go ahead and uh, sub menu. Remove that gem. Yeah, I'm gonna just. I know Melia's got one. Um. Yeah. I mean, Ryan's is an increase. It's just I don't feel like dealing with his gyms right now. Even though it's just the aggro ones that have a transfer. I should, though. It also has that block rate increase. Yeah, let me just. Let me don't be that guy and just just do it. Because. When I reach Dixon, I'm probably just going to level down. Okay, so. No, not, not that button. Wrong one. I'm not going to run all the way to the other side, so we're just going to. We're just gonna do that and then run to the other side. <laughs> because I still think it's faster. It was really just an enhanced version of this guy. They're, they weren't really that threatening. But then again, we are a higher level than them. I am eating ice cream right now. I have no regrets. It's too... It's almost 2.30 in the morning. I'm gonna make some peanut butter ice cream. And I'm playing Xenoblade Chronicles. 
I don't have any regrets. <laughs> The only thing is, figuring out where I'm going. Oh, it seems we have an enemy. But they in the way of my ice cream. I can't, I can't fight them. I need ice cream at the same time. I mean, I can because they're weak. But it would take forever if I did that. Ah. So that was your deal. I'm guessing you're the, like, big brother. Absolutely pathetic. Uh, okay. <laughs> I got stuck for a second. And it's like I don't, I don't need that to. Um... <laughs> Please no. Hmm. Keep doing that. I keep doing that, which is just the wrong button. Ah, uh, yes, definitely that. <laughs> These deadly kiwis are everywhere. I don't know how deadly the kiwi can be. Is it like just a poisonous kiwi? I could probably read the description of it and it would tell me why it's deadly. I just don't care that much. <laughs> oh, look! They tried to show up and spawn so that they could in increase your in like battle you, but their level was so low they couldn't attack me. Uh, okay. Gunrith Cathedral. This is the place that I needed to be to be able to buy those items. This portal here. And it's so just... This is how far you have to get to finish Calling Six. 
if you failed to get the stuff from it, guys. Or you didn't five-star everything. Am I still in casual? Oh. Oh, yeah, I guess I'm still in grind mode. No wonder everything was so easy. Whoops. Uh -huh. Let's, let's, let's fix that. I didn't even realize it. Let's, uh, yeah. Oops. I did them dirty. Uh, my bad. <laughs> no idea. Well, wait, this is up. Oh, yeah, because I leveled everybody up. Um, what was everybody at? Like, 75-ish? Let's, uh, let's set things to 80 and see if that's low enough that it can actually, like, not be a, a breeze, but high enough that I don't miss every attack imaginable. <laughs> I did not know this was the casual. Oops, <laughs> my bad. <laughs> I, when I'm on when I'm on uh, when I'm grinding for stuff, I just use casual because it's uh it, it, levels don't matter nearly as much, and you just don't take as much damage when. Oops, <laughs> I forgot. I was trying to work on Colony Six, so I was grinding. <laughs> Where are we? What is this place? Well, at least I changed it now. There's an altar over there. These have scary faces. It wouldn't have made a difference, though. It would have just took longer. You see something, Shulk? This indentation. It looks like something should fit inside it. Hmm. Yep. Ricky, feel like something here. It's probably a way up to the top. Could it really be that easy? There's no use thinking about it. Let's search for whatever fits into the gap. <laughs> I feel like I did those last two bosses rather dirty. Being in casual mode. Oh. Really wish I noticed that sooner. <laughs> oh well. There's not, there's not anything I can do about it now. I'm not starting over. <laughs> uh, it is what it is. I'm just glad it wasn't like... Zanza, like the final boss and stuff like that. <laughs> that that they have it for. <laughs> Cause that would have been um mm. Oh look, they're level 75. And so I lowered my level to 80. Now they think they can do something. It's just it's actually quite a precious. Um ooh. Can you get out of the way so I can, um, collect these items? Or I have to kill you? I'd rather not have to kill you. It has a death wish. Ah, that's why. Like I said, it wasn't going to make a difference. Like, it wasn't going to matter. It was just going to take longer.
and I was like level 88, and I only lowered my level now. Yeah, like it wouldn't it, it wouldn't have mattered. <laughs> they can't even touch me. <laughs> Let alone kill me. <laughs> even if I was at their level, it wouldn't matter as much. But I don't know what level Dixon's going to be, and I don't want to be at the point where I'm going to be missing a lot of attacks, because my level is too low. But I don't want to be so high that, you know, it's a cakewalk. I'm just glad I noticed that it was on casual mode so I could change it off of it, because that would have been worse. I feel a sneeze, and I don't like it. <laughs> I was like, um, let's not say we did and just pass <laughs> Oh yeah, did you notice that save? That. Mmm. Yeah, I had to go back a, a little bit to uh, to get some stuff because I was like, that's a that's one of the ways reasons you know. Like I was grinding when you see all those treasure chests because I was saving and reloading for. Specific enemies? Boy! Oh, you're bigger than I thought. I am an adult. <laughs> Ow. Okay, that one... That one hurt. Um, that was the quickest spike recovery I've ever seen, and that's, if it, if it did recover, or I, I might not have even gone away. It resisted it. one of those we haven't lost yet sorry i'm slowing us my wife is getting hot right now please get us stop me take it away we can definitely do this kill blast no lend us 
That explains why I did so much damage. Yeah, so I couldn't take away that uh, spike. Noted. Let's fix this then. We can definitely do this. Ah, I'm hitting all the wrong buttons. Oh, yeah, I'm killing myself. Probably should. Probably should not. Right, this is the Monado's power. Ah, dang it! Didn't I mean to do that? You're really getting into this ride. Oh, yeah. oh, it worked. Okay. Why? 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 <laughs> this is a legitimate question. Why did it work now and didn't work before? I'm so confused. Oh, come on. That's so disrespectful. Nice! That was a better fight. That was good. Almost died. <laughs> Almost. Though, to be fair, I almost died at the beginning of the fight. Because he did that dive, and it took literally almost all of my health with no party gauge, which would have been an instant wipe. <laughs> which is just the dickest move you can do. Because <laughs> remember, if the character you're controlling dies and you have no party gauge, that's it. And they always target the character you're controlling at the beginning of the fight. It's a real dick move. I can sense Dixon. We must be near the top. If we proceed from here, we will be unable to return. Are you ready to go on? By unable to return, do you mean like in general? No. Hold that thought. I understand. Just in case, um, because I I need to, I need to return. <laughs> so we'll do this. Oh, it just auto said no if you skip it. <laughs> I thought it would like get you to the dialogue box. It just automatically says no if you skip the. <laughs> I I would have never expected that. Aren't you scared? I would be lying if I said no. But still, we must go on. Agreed. We know what we're fighting for. We decided ages ago. <laughs> Dunban? Oh, sorry. I just got caught up in the moment. Come on, Dunban. Right, let's go. Time to seize our destiny. I'm about to seize this Reese's butter cup out of this uh, ice cream bottle container. I'm sorry, I'm playing again. Hold up. <laughs> huh. Ah, the high end is that didn't return. That didn't turn. Stop complaining. We are not the only ones fighting. Believe in Shulk and the others. We will defend this place until they get back. That's the plan, so stick to it. Uh, understood. Ah! Or get blasted. That works too. Uh. Uh. Oh, hi, friend. Uh. Ah, a face. Huh? That 
faced Mekon. They're on our side now. They used to be Homs, all of them. They may look different, but they all want the same thing as us. Juju, let's go. All right. I know I should stop now. But come on, I'm having too much fun. A little bit more. The prison terrace. This is where they were when they, uh, when the Metaldo stage two. Kept me waiting a while, Shulk. Waiting? For us to fight you? Yeah, that's what it's come to. Or will you just shut up and let me kill you? We'll never do that. Just as I expected. Hmm. Wouldn't have it any other way. I've been working for Lord Zanza since the beginning. I raised you purely so he could live on. I know. And I must thank you for granting me such power. It's all down to you that I'm standing here, ready for you now. Enough talk, boy. <gasps> Dixon, if you're so determined to stop us, then we will kill you. Finally, a bit of action. Disciple Dixon, level 80, yay! I called it right. Okay. Paralysis. Oh, okay. That's... Not that bad. I don't think it affects evasion. Okay, I gotta get the Monaldo up. On the floor. Of course. Why did I ever think that it wasn't going to do that to me? Ah, it wore off. It wore off so fast. There we go. Gotta get that party gauge up before somebody dies. This is getting boring. You worms are no match for me. Ah! I see you've inherited Maynet's power. Not her power. Huh? I've inherited her memories. That's why I fight you. Fiora! Memories, huh? And what good are those meant to be? Can't use memories to kill anyone. Why are you fighting? You're helping Zanza to create a world where nothing exists. What could you possibly hope to get out of it? <laughs> Only those with power have the right to decide such things. You're wrong. Zanza just tells me where to fight and I fight. And that's how I like it. Is that your reason? 
for fighting. It's the only reason. Maynath wished for a world where the peoples of Bionis and Mechonis could live hand in hand. You will never get away with this. Is that right? Then what are you gonna do about it in that feeble body? Everybody doesn't have a Bernardo anymore. Who knows how much life it's got in it? Hey, better say your uh, goodbyes. It can't be. I'm fine. Uh, I'll carry on fighting beside you until the very end. Fiora. Well then, we better make this quick. Ah! <laughs> What's that? Little boy lost his Monado and can't do a thing without it. Be careful. Well, you can't. It's time to learn your play. <laughs> it's always the eyes. Right, it's the Monaldo powers. Basically, <laughs> he's like, nah. <laughs> it's so hard to get him in the position because he keeps moving. Eight seconds. Yeah, that's not gonna happen. This is not good. Okay, sure. Got it. <laughs> if it was dumb man, I would have been able to have him still uh, <laughs> he missed. Oh he's uh he got toppled. There we go. You can do it. I thought I was a 
There we go. Alright. I got a party gaze now. Let's make you sit down a bit. <laughs> oh, he's crazed. <laughs> Come on! You're gonna have to try. Yep. Don't suck for evasion. You best believe I'm going to try to make sure he can. Dang it, he's he's like he is just straight up immune to it. I'm on it. Shield bullet. Oh. We're not finished yet. Got it. Uh. it yeah. Rhyme time. Uh. Powering up. Uh. I'm over yet. I'm on it. Headshot. That's gonna cost ya. <laughs> that was a good fight now. Just wanted the power of a god. This martyr stuff's not for me. Go! I ain't gonna risk my life to stop ya. Get back here! You expect us to let you go? What? Enough. 
It's Sansa we're after. Not him. Uh, okay. <laughs> you see me die <laughs> I won't give you the satisfaction of victory see ya kin looks like the student finally surpassed the teacher <sighs> Shulk his wounds. Yeah, oh, he's dead. <laughs> Why? Why can I not see any further? Now that I possess both Monados, I should be at one with the passage of fate. Why does the vision end here? Huh? So Dixon has passed. Lorathea too. How can this be? Are Telethia growing weak? How could they be defeated by such worthless mortals? This world belongs to you all. Create a world with no need for gods. A world that has no need for gods. <laughs> There is no world without a god. This world belongs to me! <laughs> I can't wait for that one. Uh. Where are we? What happened? It's night time. Is Ricky have bad dream? Look down. Look at all the stars. We're not on Bionis anymore. There's no land or sea either. This place. Man. <laughs> um, is that really, 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 really important in overturn? Really important in overturn? Because it doesn't feel like. Point of no return, point of no return. Where are we? Yeah, I'm pretty sure I can't like travel back. This is why I saved. I'm not gonna lie. Ah, right. I forgot about these things. The spirits. They're basically all of those bosses. I think there's... Did you see there's a way marker here? Wait a minute. There's a way marker, but... Where are we? There's no map. I 
Constanza's theme is like one of the best to me. Oh, there it goes. It's <laughs> like, um... <laughs> Man, I think that's, that's, what, Zord? Yeah. We can't lose! I don't want anyone dying out there. Let me at him. Come on! No! Oh, I'm turning up the heat. You're really getting into this one. Right. right time. You know, I don't know if I ever fought the super bosses in this game because I'm pretty sure I didn't really know if they were a thing in this one. But they they definitely they definitely are. Shame I couldn't get one more turn. I probably would have been able to kill him. Thea or the other to the first Telethia we fought. I just said spirit Telethia. Don't let a single one escape. Leave it to Rhyme. Come on. Fight. Oh, oh. Up. Ha. 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 Ah, uh, hmm. Pretty sure that wasn't supposed to happen. Can you can you handle this? Oh. Does he still count? No, it does not. So technically. A 
a lot of those skills start stop having effects once uh, you get once you get to a point. But to be fair, most of the game you're fighting. Um, most of the game you're fighting Mech on. It's beautiful. Is that a ball of water? So, Earth. Finally made it. That's Earth. It's you. What is it, Shulk? I cannot wait to see which path you choose. Let us meet again after you have made your choice. Ugh. Welcome, Shulk. Oh. Oh! Ah. Uh. It's Zanza. Hey. Right. But he looks different. I had planned to use the body obtained from Shulk as a vessel in which to dwell for the next hmm. millennium. However, I came to possess a great and unexpected power. Maynith's Monado. Correct. In addition to my own Monado, which you kept safe for me, I was also able to obtain a second weapon which holds the power of creation. Now I possess all I desire. There is no longer any need for the life of Bionis. I must thank you indeed, Shulk. You were of more use to me than any of my disciples. Now that I have the Monados, I can forgive you your betrayal. Ha! You gonna give him a reward? Precisely. I will have him serve as my new disciple. You will be granted eternal life and unimaginable strength. Death will be but a fleeting afterthought. Are you so arrogant to believe that the High Entia... No. All life on Bionis are nothing but your playthings! Playthings? Yes! You don't know how it feels to have slain my brethren after they are transformed into Telethia! What, what are you are talking, talking about? about? A Telethia is a High Entia's true form. I did I not transform them. them, I returned them. The Telethia are mere cells from my body. I conferred intelligence upon them on a mistaken whim, creating a primitive life form, the High Entia. They enjoyed a brief existence as sentient beings. For that, they should be grateful. Huh. So this is the arrogance of a creator. As I planned, the life of Bionis existed simply to serve as my vessels and my food. Isn't Zanza like level 90? <laughs> ...than an accumulation of their corpses and life energy. But though you feign omnipotence, the High Entia still can find you to Prison Island. That is how limited you are. Confined me. I was merely resting there for a while. I was wounded in the battle with Maynard's vessel. I simply awaited the day when a new vessel, revealed to me in a vision, would be born. Until... I was born. Precisely. I intended to inhabit your body, and once again do battle with Maynith. However, I had no idea that I would defeat her so easily. Maynith. You did a great deed in granting me a new Monado. I will gladly take you as my new disciple. Shulk. Never! I don't want to be your vessel! 
or your disciple. I just want to live my life as a Homs, in a world without you. That is most regrettable. You could have entrusted all to me and attained peace. But perhaps the vision of mortals will ever remain limited. Using one's power to change the world. That is a right possessed only by gods. I didn't, I didn't really want to do this fight in this episode. I didn't know. I thought there would be another, like another point where I could stop. They have and become insolent under her protection. <laughs> so you're saying us Homs are next in line, eh? You are correct. You yourselves have proven that Homs are a dangerous species. How unfortunate. I had a desire for friendship. But granting intelligence to the lives I created was a mistake. A god should not long for friendship. You're wrong! Maynard chose to exist alongside us. She grew to consider us her friends. You should have accepted that. But what you were hoping for was not friendship. You wanted worthless slaves. Our lives as food. Just as I suspected, it appears that I was mistaken to grant free will. However, all will soon be over. The Telethia will exterminate all life on Bionis. I will then create a new world. Just as I have done many times before. We will not allow it. We cannot. We will stop you! I guess we're doing this. <laughs> Look, I didn't know that I was this close to Zanza. His theme is awesome, though. I will say that. <laughs> Man, <sighs> let's do it. Oh, right. All right, one down. I wonder if I could purge the shield. <laughs> You're next. What's up? Uh, I guess I can't. Nope, he's immune to days. Alright.
Ah! Did you? No. How can you still have visions? Did you? No. How can you still have visions? We can definitely do this. We can do it. Now it's wine time. That's perfect for a chain attack. It's not possible! How can you read my movements? <laughs> oh! With the headshot! <laughs> you mere vessels dare to oppose the will of a god! Then I shall obliterate everything with my unimaginable power! Ready to fight for real now, Zanza, I take it. Now, behold the true form of a united world. You are just a regular person. Only the divine may shape the future. Instrument of destruction and rebirth. Where is the side? Oh, there we are. Oh. Probably shouldn't get hit by that. Aha! Blocks! Come on, Zanza! Let's dance! Well, I'm glad I got that party gauge up before I died. Well, that's not good. He's not targeting me yet, I can't. There he goes. Okay. Okay, gotta gauge up. I don't think I have that level of, uh... Huh? I might. I think I did work hard to level it up. Let's focus our efforts. I'm on it. You will never defeat me. We can definitely do this. Yeah. All together now. Right with you. The future. 
Hunter doesn't belong to you. Nothing's gonna stop me. The future is changes. Now is your time. Take this. The future doesn't belong to you. I can't even move. Be ah shoot. Invincible. Unfortunate. Ah, oh, come on. Okay, we did it. Well, we took out the Guardians. That's what I was trying to go for. And then because I went ahead with the kill, I got the, uh, shoot, I didn't mean to do that. I did not mean to do that. That could have got me killed. I'm like focused on trying to get the party gauge back up. Oh, he like lowered my Minaldo gauge. First. Ah. Uh, oh, okay. I'm on it. He was immune to the topple. I was like, wait, what? Wow. Okay, so you're gonna do me like that. <laughs> thanks, thanks for the double boosting. Instrument of destruction and rebirth. 
I was about to say, uh, did it just glitch out? How can you have visions? You no longer possess the Monado. I don't know. It comes from the bottom of my heart. It shows me my enemy. It reveals the future I must change. The future we see is not set in stone. There are infinite possibilities based on the paths we choose. You should be well aware of this notion. For that is how you have always existed. That, that is a right for gods, and gods only! Why should we care? What's important isn't whether you can see the future or not. It's the will to make a choice, and the strength to seize your destiny. Our time has come. Our destiny is our own! Can it be? There it is! It is not only you that has the right. Every living thing has the freedom to choose the path they walk. And that is the future. A third Monado has appeared. How can this have happened? You are mere mortals! Now, sure as is Monado. His true Monado. Let's play! Except that it's not. Let's play. Where is his side? <laughs> Did he kill his own things? <laughs> I had to. I had to finish it with Buster. <laughs> How? The, the power of a god cannot be overcome. Zanza, this is the providence of the world. Even gods are merely beings restricted to the limited power determined by providence. That power, although great, is not unlimited. That voice, 
Alvis! How dare you disobey me! Ah! I am Monado. I was here at the beginning. And I will proclaim the end. But that... that's, that's impossible. impossible. Shulk, it is time for you to choose. Does this world belong to Zanza, or does it belong to you? That is something I decided long ago! Use our power to fell a god, and then seize our destiny! All that I am is fading. The memory of a god's existence. Born from the chaos of creation, it is vanishing. I have no idea what that symbol was supposed to mean, though. Got our little blue gem. Where am I? This is my home. Your home. Let's begin the experiment. Whose voice was that? It is Zanza. Before he became a god. When he was simply a man of flesh and blood. No! The results have not been confirmed! It's too dangerous! And that voice? It's Maynath. Ridiculous! It's perfectly safe! We are about to bear witness to the birth of a universe. Once, only a god could perform such a miracle. But today, mankind moves one step closer to no, the divine. No! Simple curiosity. The curiosity of a single man that destroyed the universe and created a new one. A new universe. Your world was born. And so, two gods came into existence. Zanza and Maynath were lonely, so they created life in their own image. And that was how we were born. As the world advanced to each further stage, it was inherited by generations of different life forms. But over time, awareness of Zanza faded. Zanza feared this. In order to escape his own annihilation, he wished for a world in a perpetual cycle of destruction and recreation. Bionis being filled with life, and the Telethia coming to wipe it out. It was all the will of Zanza. It was. But the truth of the matter is that he longed for friendship. His future and our future. It might have been possible for them to coexist. Correct. However, that time has passed. The old god was defeated by the new god that he himself created. New god? Yes. That is why I appeared before you, Shulk. Alvis. What are you? I am the administrative computer of a phase transition experiment facility. But that will mean little to you. To you, I am a machine. That is my original form. Alvis? 
the experiment. Is stagnant. It has expired. Therefore, I will ask you, its new god. What is your wish? Will you allow the world to continue to stagnate? Or will you allow it to evolve to the next level? The choice is yours to make. I don't know. All I wanted to do was stop Zanza having his way, that's all. I cannot be a god. Too right. You're great and all, but there's no way you're a god. <laughs> Everyone. Look, don't worry, Shulk. None of us want to be gods anyway. And I don't really know what the future holds, but we just want to live our life as it comes. Eating grub, sleeping, laughing, crying, sometimes arguing. Sounds all right? Yes, <laughs> he's right. And being with the ones we love, that's enough. Even so, we change little by little. Every day is a little different from the last. We do not know what the future will hold. More fun not knowing. Ricky want to have fun. Life's little surprises are what makes it great. We don't know what's going to happen. It's worrying sometimes, but it's also exciting. Don't you think? Yeah. Isn't that called progress? Aren't we all continuously evolving? I'm not sure we need a more dramatic change than that. Yeah. You're right. Little by little. Each day as it comes. That's how we should live. That's our world. Forgive my presumptuousness, but I recreated their personalities from your consciousness. Alvis, it sounds like you don't think I can make my own decisions. <laughs> supposed to be the god <laughs> apologies however i have good reason this world has little time remaining if left in this state have you made your decision the choice is yours creator tell me your decision for the future of this world i won't decide the future should be decided by each and every person in the world. And so, what I... No. What we wish for is... A world with no gods! I see Hyantia, Machina, and Holmes together. Hi, how are you? You idiot! Are you trying to kill me? Oh, I'm really sorry, Colonel. Hate that. Sorry. What do you mean, sorry? Hate how that word is spelled. Excellent. So, you can take the materials to District 4. The restoration's coming along nicely. 
thanks to Melia and Venea. The High Entier and Machina have some amazing technology. We are happy to help. To live alongside one another in harmony. After all, I have no doubt this is what Lady Maynath and Egil would have wanted. Hear, hear. And may it last forever. Dumban? Fiora? What is it? Have you seen Shulk? Oh, uh, he just left. I don't know where he's gone, but he was with Ryan and the others. Okay, thank you. Fiora? Yes? Uh... It's nothing. Good luck. If you're looking for Shulk, he is not here. Amazing! It's like you've got eyes in the back of your head. What were you looking at? The sea? Hmm? I wasn't looking at anything in particular. If anything, Fiora, I was thinking. Thinking about the future that awaits us all. Wow. You're so much more thoughtful than me. Really? I don't think so. I was just answering your question. But I know what you mean. You're right. We've been through a lot. Yes. We have. I am grateful to all of you. It is because I met you that I experienced so much. And it is the reason I am here now. Yes. We're happy you're here too. Thanks, Melia. For everything. I'm glad I met you. <laughs> and I you. Yeah. Almost. Go, Ryan. Go, Ryan. Oh, Ricky, really hungry. Put your back into it, Ryan. <laughs> What's up with the water being so salty? Ryan, you're terrible at this. When was the last time you fished? <laughs> I'm bad fisherman. Ricky won't eat big fish. Give us a break. You try next time, Furball. Oh, fishing is Ryan's job. Ricky's job is eating. <sighs> Hang on a sec. Isn't Oka going to have a massive go at you if you don't go back to her with 14 fish to feed all your little pond? Oh, Ricky forgot! <laughs> very angry, if not catch more fish! It ain't me she's going to be angry with. No! Rain, catch fish! Catch fish what? now! Oh, fish! <laughs> <Please. laughs> That's why they had the first person camera the whole time. Because she got her body back. What is it? Oh, uh, that hairstyle. It, it looks good on you. That's all. Yeah. Really? Oh, I was thinking about growing it out, but... Hey, which do you prefer? Both, of course. Oh, come on. What am I supposed to say to that? I have a longer hair. Sorry. Okay. It's great like that. Don't change it. <sighs> I'd forgotten what it feels like to do this. I wonder what the future has in store for us. Who knows? 
I'm sure it will be full of ups and downs. Ups and downs? I don't know what the future holds, but that means I can imagine the possibilities. We can achieve anything we put our minds to. Yeah, you're right. Do you remember what the Monado, I mean Alvis, said to us the last time we saw him? Yes, of course. Shook. This new world is boundless. It is home to not only you, but many forms of life. I can see it. In this world, all life will walk towards the future, hand in hand. One day, I hope I can meet them all. The people of this endless world. Me too. We will. I know it. Mm -hmm. We'll meet them. And whatever happens, we'll face our future together. a good game it really is i did not mean to, <laughs> to, <laughs> to do that i didn't know i didn't know <laughs> we're not done uh because we still got that new thing with um Shulk, Milia, and I think some new characters, which should be interesting. Uh, yeah, I didn't. I was like, there should be a there's there's bound to be a point where um where uh <laughs> there's bound to be a point. Where it's uh, got like a little rest area or, or something like usual. It's like nah, it's it's pretty much a straight shot. Once you go up that elevator, there it really was the point of no return. <laughs> Once you go up the elevator, that's why I saved it because I was like, wait a minute, I like the point of no return, no return. Like the, that point of no return. Yes, it was that point of no return. It's not like Xenoblade Chronicles 2's point of no return, where you're in a, basically an area, and you have to interact with this interface to go into the like final battle. In um, in this one, no, you go up an elevator, and you have a whole, basically a, whole, a dungeon, just a smaller one. So you got. Oh boy. So you fight that guy. I don't know why I'm forgetting his name now. For some we some for some weird reason. I can't think straight. Hmm. Why? My <laughs> brain is like shutting down. <laughs> uh, uh, it really is like the point of no return, though. It's just. Whew. Didn't really think about that. <laughs> but yeah. You just fight Dixon. And then you go through the whole thing. I thought you'd fight Dixon, and then it would be the point of no return. The point of no return is before you even fight Dixon. Which is 
not unexpected. Fair enough, though. They do tell you. They like they do give you fair warning. I just wasn't sure if it was just like this is it. This is it. Yeah, that was that 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 was it. That was it. Um. Hmm. It was fun though. I uh. I played this game so many times when it was on the Wii. I've beaten it like seven, eight times on the Wii, but it was so long ago. <laughs> so long ago. We should redo the last story. I would love to play that game again. It's really good. It just, uh, there's some things about it that I feel like they need to tweak. <laughs> I was confused sometimes, but. We still got to do that other, like, story thing. I don't know how that one's going to work. I don't know if that's um, where we use the same gear that we have and, like, the levels and everything we carry. Or if they do the thing where they give us, like, set gear, set levels, set everything. Um, and then uh, we continue on from there. But we'll find out. I'm actually very curious to find out. I just hope it's not like how Torn of the Golden Country was. And um, because I still don't, I still don't like it. I still wouldn't play it again. And it's because of the way that progression works. I'm not a side quest person. It really annoys me. And the fact you have, you're forced to do them to progress the story is just... But at least the story of that one was actually pretty good. And the gameplay of it was really good, too. Now, if they take that idea and they move forward from there, we can have a good time. Um, okay, so clear data. Why don't you close it up? Yeah, we know that much. Yeah, we know that much. Yeah, yeah, we know that much. Huh. Affinity yeah, charge don't carry over. Interesting. Um, Shulk now holds the true Minaldo, so he will not receive the Minaldo again in subsequent playthroughs. Beat it, no. Technically at level 89. Technically. So, we access the other thing from... I'm guessing it's on the title screen. Oh, look at that title screen. It's great. <laughs> That is awesome. There's New Game Plus. Ah, extra story here. I'm not even gonna click the button. Cause I don't know if it's gonna be like information here about the extra story. Just, we're not gonna click the button. That was good though. I had a good time. But we're going to do the extra story next. I don't know how long it is. So there's that. But, um. It'd be all right. I don't know how difficult it's going to be, though. I know that it was more about Shulka and Melia and then these other new characters. So I. I, um. I don't know how difficult it's going to be not having a. If, if Charlotte and them aren't there, I don't know how difficult it's going to be not having, like, an actual tank and healer <laughs> we'll see we'll see because remember like shook skills are position based <laughs> like you really don't get that much out of them if, you, if it's not positioning but we'll see what happens i don't know anything about the extra story except the little bit of details from the synopsis of the uh well no it wasn't even a synopsis it was just the 
what it is. It's an extra story with Shulk Melia and some new characters. That's all I know about it. So, I'm interested to see what happens because it's all new from here. But I did finally finish the main story of this game, which... Boy, I I want to start the extra story now, I'm not going to lie, but this video has gone on much long enough, honestly, and uh, I think it's time that we, uh, we call it. So, that is all the time we have for this episode of Xenoblade Chronicles Definitive Edition. If you like this episode, please remember to like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you all on the next episode.